The piece that I worked on, uh, which was a new commission at Manual Override, um, is a piece called She Who Sees the Unknown, Kabus, The Right Witness and The Left Witness. So the audience comes and there is a, an installation which is a, sort of like a bedroom um, created um, in sort of similar uh, floor plan as the room that I grew up in, in in Iran, in Tehran. And they lie down on this bed and then they put a VR headset on and uh, what they see is um, entering this um, hammam or bathhouse space and then you hear the stories of four generations of women. My uh, grandmother, my mother, myself, and an imagined monstrous daughter. Daughters. Our daughters, daughters. Our daughters, daughters, daughters. Really, if I was gonna like simplify it, is about um, experience of trauma, war, and childbirth, um, and also these uh, thoughts and emotions around like motherhood. Thinking about motherhood as something that can be um, expanded to experiences that are not only about birthing a human, uh, but but that are birthing other things, uh, or like kinship, or adoption, or again like ways of like thinking about caring for other beings around you. Summer 1992, on the rooftop we're lying down on a set of sheets, looking up to the stars. And I feel like specifically with VR, which is a technology that is very still like dominated by men, like white men mostly, um, there are not that many stories that are being told that are emotional and personal in this way, right? A lot of times if you've experienced VR pieces, it's always like, oh, you need to interact, you need to move through the space. It's super like fast action based in, in that way. But I wanted an experience that was actually very slow. It was very like emotional, a story being told to you and you are sort of in some way stuck in this dream and you have to listen through the story.